Hey everybody and welcome back to Crip Monkey Paints. I do have to apologize. I didn't have hey anybody to do makeup or anything to today, Crip so you Monkey just have to see, Paints. you know, I do the natural flesh of my of me. Um but today, hi Max. Today we are painting a new print from Dragon Trapper's Lodge and it's amazing and so much fun and it's a pump I help me say it Ty. <laughs> The pumpkin. The pumpkin. The great pumpkin. Um, so Ty is going to put up all of the information for this beautiful pumpkin print. And just like always for Halloween month, I printed him absolutely huge so that we can put him outside for decoration for Halloween night. And then for the rest of the time, he will live in our wonderful little house with us. And hi, Izumi. So I actually was a smart girl and I printed out the little um, lure and such that the um, that Dragon Trapper's Lodge provided. So rather than me trying to remember this or anything like that, it's so cool. I wanted to just to read the lore for the great pumpkins. All of the pumpkin horrors of all, sorry, I'm not bad, not really good at reading out loud. <laughs> of all of the pumpkin horrors, great pumpkins are the most exceptionally dangerous. It appears that only a few pumpkin li pump bleh, pumpkinlings ever mature into pumpkins. These are hard to say. <laughs> um, ever mature. So most simply grow into becoming patch sentinels, which are also beautiful prints and they're amazing. I love them. Um, I gotta stop getting distracted, I'm sorry. But for those of you who are not forced, or, but for those few who do are a force to be reckoned with, these creatures are exceptionally intelligent and actively control the efforts of the lesser pumpkin horrors, leading to the true calculated warfare of the, on people on the people of this land. These creatures seem to revel in the horror that they that cause their <laughs> I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fun. These creatures seem to revel in the horror caused by their actions and will often send their minions into populated areas for months on end to terrify the populace simply for the joy of hearing the screams. It's my kind of peeps. <laughs> often when the area is well populated enough to allow these frightening efforts to continue indefinitely, the pumpkin will deny the forego any I'm sorry the pumpkin will deny to forego any attacks on the populace preferring to take their fear rather than their lives is that not like the most awesome thing ever oh hi red I'm gonna Regina <laughs> Regina, Regina. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow I appreciate that and welcome to the show so Hey, Kaylee, Kayla, I'm wearing contacts, guys, so I can't read very, very well, so working on it. Polish. <laughs> Damn it. So those of you... I was just helping with your storytelling. Shh. For those of you who are not aware of the new show format, uh, instead of painting things and talking about what I'm painting and teaching you guys how I do things, the new format is actually how many times can you scare the ever-living bleep out of me while I put paint on random things. That's, that's the format. <laughs> so, I just wanted to show that, like, ow, it's already getting stabby, guys. So this is the wonderful pumpkin. And the video that we had <laughs> playing, nope, didn't get me that time, jerk. The video that we had playing in the beginning was the sleeping version of this when we were on the. No, um, oh God. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> nice one, Kayla. No, Got me a, no, a bit. No, no, um, no. It was the sleep. <laughs> Okay, I'm not painting tonight. I'm just going to jump all night long. <laughs> oh, you got tied too. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and guys, oh, I'm so excited. I had Ty go down and start the film for 
recording the printing. So we actually do have it filmed, recording, printing this big, beautiful, giant thing. Ah, okay. Hi. Have you gotten started on get have you gotten started yet on your flower? I'm super excited to watch that. Yes, Ty, you need to have the tie cam going. People are already asking for the tie cam. So basically what I did was I I did the same thing. <laughs> I did the same thing I did with the zombie head where I took it outside and I spray painted it with um, orange and brown, kind of a khaki brown and green and just kind of let it go as it wanted to go. And I don't think I would use this method on a small mini uh, just because I, I really don't have any control. So I'm letting it do what it wants to do, but you know, hey. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, Red. You had said you were going to start painting with your friend this weekend. I, I completely forgot that. You did mention that earlier. Um, but I am absolutely looking forward to seeing that. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, I, I wanted to do something that's I, all weekend or all month long. I want to paint my face to kind of go with whatever I'm I'm working on. And I was just going to do a little simple pumpkin face, but then I realized I had a lot of time, so I just kept going. <laughs> Did you have a brief tie sighting? That's awesome. All right, so I am going to get started on this guy. And like I said, I, I kind of have a base coat, really got, you know, a really nice base coat going. So I am sticking with my acrylic paints for right now. I need to dig my actual... Um, face paint or not face paint I was reading <laughs> Red's comment it really is a lot of fun and I honestly I was planning to do the face painting for the month of Halloween but I'm probably going to keep going with it I'm, I'm really enjoying it it may not always be this elaborate but this one was a lot of fun and then of course my hair just happens to be the green tips is just perfect to go with it I can't get any of this orange out <laughs> um Kayla I might have to have to just come over to your house one day and like come over early on next Tuesday and say okay this is what I need to look like and I just spread orange all over me well guys I failed already I not only have paint on my hands I have it all the way up my arm now too oh well anyway we don't care so much we're all about we know the paint's supposed to be everywhere. If you're a true painter, no, it's <laughs> artist, or it's, you know, it's actor, but you know, that doesn't really work here. I'm looking for my brown. Like I said, I'm, I can see well enough, like, um, to like paint and stuff, bigger things. But if I was trying to paint something small, I would not be able to wear my contacts for that. But for this, I, he's big enough. I detail wise, I can do that. Um, oh, 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 let's see if I can reach them. Uh, Damage Micro just gave you a compliment. Um, I wanted to get the kitties out because they are what's going to be chosen from I did not make a scene for that, so. Oh, it's okay. So. But I saw the picture. Right here are the little kitties that we're going to be giving away later today. And you need to be a follower and present to win. And the winner of the drawing today will get to pick from the zombie kitty, the witchy kitty. Ow. The ghosty kitty, which I think is the best, honestly. I love the ghost kitty. That's my favorite. And then the skeleton kitty. He trick or treating. <laughs> Oops. And I finally got um, the winner of last week's drawing. I finally, because I had to wait for the files. I hadn't actually gotten the files yet. But what I did was I printed this guy in sections so that it's going to be super easy to paint. So here is his base, and then he sits right there, and then this is the stuff that's inside, and it has a key to lock in there. Of course, I put it in wrong, but you guys get that. 
and then he just grabs a hold. Shipping out to last week's winner, right? Yes, we're shipping this out tomorrow for last week's winner, but I wanted to, sh I got his finger stuck. <laughs> but this way, I printed him in pieces. That way he's a lot, going to be so much easier to paint like this. And I love these little cute bottles around the edge. They are just freaking adorable. But, so that's going out tomorrow. I wanted to be able to show on screen um, what the print looked like just to, you know, so that you guys could see it. But yes, here are the kitties. And it's, they will ship out tomorrow for whoever the winner is tonight. Um, I have a big picture of them too. Yes, and Ty can show a big picture of them so you guys can really kind of see the details. Oh, oh I'm gonna get on my seat better and get all my stuff sit in, situated back here. And then I'm gonna actually put paint on this pumpkin. Ghost Kitty is the best. I love Ghost Kitty. All right, so. I, I just, he's like absolutely adorable. I love them. Right, it sounds like it was a 1980s cartoon or something. <laughs> Ghost Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> um, the kids here love, like Izzy and Cora are already fighting over if somebody doesn't pick Ghost, or the... The witch kitty, they both want the witch kitty. I'm like, well, you know, one, one or the other. Can't have them all. Um, but we also have already decided... I'm just getting my paint colors out while I'm jabbering. We have already decided what the... Um, what next week's giveaway is going to be. And Ty, if you want to throw that up there. Uh, yes, I will get that ready. He will get that ready and eventually at some point throw that up there. And I'm okay with leave it, leaving that sit for a little while because it's going to be awesome. Yeah, give me the stuff. I know. Facebook and all the things. No, you're good, baby. I know the zombie kitty is like super adorable. And I love the little open rib cage on the side. It's That's going to be so much fun to paint, really. All right. So basically, I'm going to kind of start dry brushing a little bit to get some orange highlights brought up a little bit more. And it's it's funny because you're not going to see a whole lot of difference when I go over the orange itself. But in these other sections that have like the brown and the green on it, you'll see a big difference there. Um, but no, I, one of the things that I really like about uh, Dragon Trapper's Lodge and uh, my mini, or mini Monster Mayhem, <laughs> I'm getting better, I really am. Um, they both are very good about giving um, storylines and like almost, you know, they're pretty much like one shots. They're, they have stats for the monsters that you can print and you have, um, and that's one of the things whenever, if I have a model, if I have a stat for a model when you buy it, then I, uh, like on Etsy or something, I'll print it and I'll ship it with you or with it. Uh, like how big is the guy that I'm painting right now? Is that what you mean, uh, Red? And as far as my preference, my preference is to paint bigger monsters. Um, things like this are, are really kind of fun. The one I'm painting right now is, let's see, from his widest point, he's about seven inches in diameter. Each one of these squares is an inch. So, I mean, you can you can see how big he is. So, I personally prefer monsters over characters. Even if I'm painting like my own character, I, I definitely prefer to paint a monster over a, a character. Um, it's sort of the same thing where I really enjoy painting, when I'm drawing or something like that, I really, really enjoy drawing and painting landscapes, not people. Um, and I think it, it kind of is in the same realm as that. If I'm 
drawing a tree, it doesn't really matter how I draw the tree. You know, it, it still looks like a tree. A tree is a tree is a tree. There's a million different kinds of trees and it's kind of hard to mess up drawing a tree. It's a stick, you know, and a bunch of squiggly lines. Whereas if I'm drawing a person and I get this little weird thing right here, slightly off center, it doesn't, it no longer looks right. It's so easy to make the human not look human anymore. And I'm lazy and I want to do things that are easy. So landscape to me is easier and monsters are just 10 times easier. I like the bigger monsters just because, well, honestly, it, it, I mean, we're, we're a creepy family. I mean, come on, our name's Crip Monkey for crap's sake. But, and so those bigger monsters are, well, they're scarier. So I like those. Um, also, there's a lot more, there's a lot more detail that I can do and make um, versus the smaller ones where it's, it's not because the smaller model is lacking the detail, it's not. It's just my ability to paint tiny as my eyes decide whether or not they're going to work gets, you know, harder and easier back, kind of back and forth sort of thing. So my personal preference is larger is easier. Um, but it's, it's also funny because I've heard over and over and over again from people, like people who draw people all the time. They're like, oh, landscape is so hard. I'm like, are you crazy? What you do is super hard. Um, but people who, like me, who do landscape, are like, can't do people. So it's, it's like one of those, it's those weird things of one or the other. You can, you know, the true masters are the people who can do it all. That is not me. I can paint characters. I just prefer these guys. And then again, these guys are the guys who always are killing me too. So that's not necessarily fun. No, it is fun. No, it's fun to die too. Because that means I get to make a new character. Which is funny because I'm, I just made a character because we have to go rescue somebody from hell. We're, we're going to skip over the rest of that story. Um, <laughs> but I also... Mm -hmm, yep, yep. We're just going to walk on by. Um, I also got invited to join another D&D &D group that is playing once a month. So I get to make... A new character for that as well and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with a dwarf cleric which is funny because I'm going back and forth between life domain and the other domain that I can't pick between is the grave domain so I'm either going life or grave that's it <laughs> that's my choice haven't decided but I've got time the first campaign I mean the first uh, not campaign but the first session isn't going to be until November I think but it should be fun um, it's I'm going to actually be playing with uh, Michael Mordor and his wife and, and a group they've put together. And this is actually the largest group I've ever played with. Um, yes, actually, I, I kind of briefly, I forgot I painted my face and my face itched and I scratched it. I kind of briefly went over it, but I can go over it in detail. Um, because I, this is not something that I would normally prime something like this. Um, if I had printed it at the proper size, which is quite smaller, I literally, I don't even know exactly how much larger I printed this. Um, the software that I have has a setting where I can just click a button and say, fit it to the plate. So I printed this as large as I possibly could on my current printer. Um, so this is quite a bit bigger than what its natural size should be. Uh, but what I did was I spray painted it um, just with regular 
old spray paint. It's Krylon Decor Select Paint and Primer. I didn't use this color, obviously, but um, I used a uh, an orange, a green, and a khaki color, I think is the, the brown color that's on here. Um, and basically all I did was I sprayed the whole thing orange and then I turned it over, sprayed the green from the bottom so that it could kind of go up and get the leaves and such. And then I sprayed directly into the mouth with the khaki and then just really held my hand really far back and kind of sprayed, like almost walked around and just misted some more khaki around. Just because you know how pumpkins have those different shades always happening on them. Um, like the more sunlight this piece has, the more orange it is. Um, and I'm saying um a lot tonight. Um, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I smack you. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll come give you a big old kiss. Uh, I think yeah. I've already smeared my makeup a little bit. <laughs> That's a hard pass for me. Um, but damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I just said <at> home. <laughs> so, no, uh, I, I wouldn't typically spray paint anything that I was, that was normal size. But when I go something really large like this, uh, I, I wanted to give it a try. And when I was doing the zombie for last week's stream, I went ahead and, and attempted it and it worked fairly well. So I figured I would try it again with the pumpkin. It worked less well on the pumpkin, in my opinion, than it did on the zombie because all of the little details were so close together that I couldn't really aim what are the colors where I wanted them. But that being said, it took probably five minutes to get it base coat. <laughs> I think Ty just pooped his pants. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop touching my face. <laughs> my paint's coming off. Am I having a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's awesome. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say um on that one because I gotta get my train of thought back. Typically, I don't I wouldn't spray paint something that was smaller or more detailed than this although I don't mind doing like if I was going to prime a spray primer would be fine uh, but you have to be careful with the resin versus the spray paints I've only checked this Krylon brand I've never I, I don't have any other brands of spray paint to, to try it but I know that the Krylon paint and primer the gloss and the mattes and the satin, I have tried all of those versions on the resin printing and they've worked just fine. But for specifically, <coughs> specifically for you, Red, the, the model that you have, I don't think you need to worry about priming that one at all. You can just go straight into the paint, paint job you wanna do especially because she has those really beautiful <laughs> um gonna get to you in a minute damage um she has those really beautiful petals that are so thin and you can almost see through them that if you wanted to leave some of that white i think you're better off just not even painting it you could just put a clear coat on it and be done um with that certain portion. Now, I wouldn't say doing that to the whole thing because the whole point was for you to get out there and paint some, but <laughs> you know what I mean. But I definitely would not recommend spray painting to clear coat her. Unless you wanted her, the majority of her to be one color, then you could, but it really depends on what you want to do with her. Thanks for the bit, Sun Baran. Um, yeah, if you don't want to... Damn it! <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do one blanket. I apologize. I love you guys. And if you're going to continue to scare me, you're going to get 
weird cuss words, including, you know, son of a biscuit eater and, <laughs> and stuff like that. So <laughs> I, it was so funny when they came over. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me jump back here. Um, damage. As much quack, fun quack. as the scooters are. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get much retribution for the scares because they really are funny as hell. Um, yeah, is the way she's... A, that was like the funniest thing. So basically, I met read at Archon and she was extremely nervous about getting a mini to paint and I begged her and 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 made her promise that she's going to paint it and then bring it back and show me and so she finally took the mini and it's this beautiful beautiful um, flower empress she's, oh, she's just gorgeous so she she took that and then the next day her friends came back and bought her the other one that she had that that i had was the identical model right and i was like oh well wait if you're buying this for her she already has this and they're like oh no no we're buying this as a backup because now she's really nervous about messing it up which i thought was so sweet you have like the best friends ever that was like the sweetest thing in the world all right, so I have switched over to my brown and I'm just kind of knocking down the orange that got on. And I'm obviously I'm gonna leave this piece to the last because it's really making a great handhold. But I, I like the green showing up on the, the vines, but I don't wanna see the orange on there. So I'm just going around with my brown and I'm just barely, and this is a makeup brush too. I have, I have yet to pick up an actual paint brush. Oh, yeah. it was it was like the sweetest thing ever. I have been telling basically everybody about that. It was so, so, so sweet. I have got to stop rubbing my nose. <laughs> By the end of it, I'm not going to have any black on my nose anymore. So like I said, basically, I'm just kind of twirling him around and getting the orange off the vines because I don't want any orange there. I don't mind the green, um, the green and the brown is what I want to see on the leaves and the vines themselves. Put that back in frame. I haven't decided the eye color yet though. Oh, I had a little support right there. Hold on one second. Tra -la, la my little tool is not in its spot. And I don't see it, so I'm going to use this tool. Nope, that's not it. That was Max, gotcha. Max, well done. I saw a pop up this time. <laughs> yep, well done. Oh, let's see if I can do this. my little clippers so I'm trying to find a tool to break this off because I can't just use my fingers which are still not healed I thought they were doing better and then last night was or this today was not terribly great for them to be honest not really sure why Ugh. thank God it's a big one and it's thick um, it's you know resin is definitely more um, breakable but I did switch over to the other brand of resin which has proven to be a lot less brittle than previous uh, so I'm pretty happy about that switch uh, and I will be staying with this I don't I did switch back to the to the gray resin versus the white resin I didn't there's really not a difference except the white resin had the potential to yellow while I was curing it. 
and where some models it doesn't really matter especially if i'm painting it i care less but if i'm giving it to or selling it i don't really want that yellowed effect now printing something like the flower empress in that yellow in the white and letting her yellow would actually just enhance her but i want to do that when i want to do that not it happens to happen oh <laughs> yeah it's actually really fun to see those oh dang it i missed another one right there so hopefully you guys can use the paintbrush here you can see right in here those are supports and i just missed clipping them off when i was cleaning i prefer to do this whenever it's not cured because they kind of pop right off and they it leaves a nice clean area but for this particular model i don't actually mind it because pumpkins always have those kind of dry spiky bits and that's just kind of what that is and you can see the holes on some of the pumpkins and then here in the center and there's a couple in his mouth back there those are holes that I put in it with the software so that I can print it hollow and it saves on resin because I mean that's a lot of resin and that also allows me to be able to keep the sale price down not that this one's for sale but if it was if it was solid I would have to charge more just because that's how I base my prices. It's okay, how much resin did I lose on this? Because that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Just keep me flowing, keep the resin flowing, and I don't really care beyond that. I want to be able to have paint and, and have resin to print. And then I am satisfied. Man, he is heavy. Whew. Oh, damn it. <laughs> My nose itches like crazy and I can't scratch it. Oh. Note to self, don't paint my nose again. <laughs> oh. Haven't heard what. I am lost on what's happening. Be because they heard my windows dinging in the background oh. because I've got it so loud to try and help scare you. Uh, no, that is me trying to generate a new scene on the fly to show you guys next week's <laughs> giveaway. Sorry. So now I'm just kind of putting in some of those... Uh, this is the transparent brown oxide. I'm just putting that in the grooves. Which I did try to make the grooves kind of apparent on my face too. <laughs> nope, that would be Tyler, guys. That is so funny. I'm just so used to it that I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I, I wasn't even paying attention to it at all because, like I said, I'm, I'm used to it. Whenever we're streaming, I always hear little odd noises from his computer because that's the only way that the jump scares will get me is they got to turn the volume up over there. Okay. See? <laughs> oh. Um... Actually, so Sunbaran, I need your help with the makeup brushes that I'm using. Sunbaran is my best friend. I'm sorry, I, I probably just messed up my makeup, but I had to. My nose was itching so crazy. Um, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Cross or killer? Cross or killer. Killer. You're just going to be killer because that's awesome. <laughs> um, 
But Sunbrand, if you would put up a, a link or something like that, so where you can say where the makeup brushes come from, because Sunbrand is actually my best friend, and, and I know nothing about makeup, so they supply me with with what to use, because that's actually a fairly cheap um, set of makeup brushes, if I understand it right. I do have some actual paint brushes, but for what I've done so far is just a paint, is just this makeup brush, and that is my absolute favorite thing to dry brush with, is a makeup brush. It just works better. I don't know why, I cannot explain it, I have no rhyme or reason. I just know that I have used paint brushes and they will stand up to one or two dry brushings. Basically what I what I used to do is I would have my paintbrush and as it gets worn down and beat the hell up from just regular painting, I would transition it over to a dry brush. Um, and I would use it for that for a while. Uh, thank you for the subscription, Kayla. Uh, but so what I did with that, somebody told me, uh, Michael, actually, Michael Mordor mentioned that dry brushing with makeup brushes works really well for him. And Sunbaran was awesome enough to let me have a couple of hers to try it out with. And I was immediately just blown away at, with one, how much longer they last. I have used you know, the same set of dry brushes from these makeup brushes for months and they haven't been trashed. I do have paint brushes, especially for small detail brushes, but I don't typically invest in expensive paint brushes as long as it has a good fine tip that I can use, then I, I don't need it to be like the most bestest brush ever. I just need it to have a really good tip. And a lot of those brushes that you get in a set, you can get ones with flat tips, round tips, and pointed tips. And those are really gonna kind of cover all of your bases. I typically paint with kind of my pointed tip and then my flat tip are usually, I think you probably can see that better on a paper towel rather than my hand. So like this flat tip and then this pointed tip and then the pointed tip, if you get it wet and roll it, you can see how nice and pointed that is. And every now and again, you'll get this and you can simply clip that off. You'll get a tiny little hair that's off to the side, but Oh, excuse me. Ah, okay, thank you, Max. Yes, perfect example of, this is why I love this community. Everyone shares so much information. Um, Max is also somebody who paints, like I would say probably paints more than I do at this point. What was I painting? Oh, I was trying. <laughs> Um, I would, yeah, and what what you're gonna want is something like this would be a really great um, just area where you can get a, a big section, but you're gonna want something that's a smaller where you can get into little finer areas as well. So those, pretty much, if you have those two and then a fine tip and an, one that you can get a broader stroke with. I'd say those quack, four quack. brushes. <laughs> those four brushes are probably all you're gonna need. I literally, everything we have done so far has been done with this one brush. Now this is a larger brush, but it's a larger model. And that's why I'm kind of focusing in on that. So, oh my gosh. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my nose. <laughs> But it is driving me crazy at the moment. I have a scene ready for next week's giveaway. Ah, okay. So, Ty is going to put up, because I'm literally just going around each individual pumpkin and putting um, paint on, and it's this same paint, and I'm just trying to get those grooves to darken up. Oh, and Sunbaran has put up a link where she got 
the paint brushes that I app or the makeup brushes that I love. I love those things. Um, but anyway, Ty is going to put up a scene for next week's giveaway. And so there are three different models. One is holding a staff with a raven. Damn it! You got Ty so good. Oh, he did the frack thing. I love that. Um, so one has a staff with a raven. One has a fireball. And one has a, um, a wand. So the winner will get to pick one of those models, and I will print and ship it. So that's going to be for next week. Which I think they look awesome. Uh, you know, that's a really good idea because honestly, when something is larger like that, it's, it's just easier to paint. It may take longer, um, but it's, to me, it's just way easier to paint. You can see e more easily what you're doing and where you're, you know, doing things at. So it's just, I don't know. I just prefer bigger minis. I just think they're more fun. So now I have the red iron oxide, that transparent paint, and I am just slathering it on, kind of down in the gums, and I'm gonna go around each eyeball, so that way it has a, a nice red area. Sorry. Around, <laughs> was that one of my clips or something? No, no. No, oh, okay. Ah, gotcha. Um, oh, Max, sorry. Uh, how much for for a print like this size? Um, if I printed out him and, and shipped him, it would... Let's see. That would be probably a $45 mini. Just because, like I said, he, he actually took... I think it was total 14 hours to print, right? We had to do his... Almost 15 hours to print him. Um, but the beautiful thing is he does come in one piece. You don't have, I had no assembly on this guy. And the window noises again are tie. It's my telegram. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I think that means it's water time. Oh, yeah, right before the stream, I got a some new files from Mini Monster Mayhem. And it was, uh, I put the photos in the Discord because it was a brand new set of mimics. And they are freaking awesome. It's one's a chair and one's a wardrobe. And I have... The files for the wardrobe and the files for the mimic wardrobe. So I, you know, you can get both. And I'm like, that is freaking awesome. So if you remember last week, this red iron oxide, that's what we used all around to make it bloodied. Yeah, I haven't printed them or anything. I literally got the files, shared the photo, um, and then got ready to, to do my makeup. Okay. I am going to stop with that color. And if, <clears throat> here's another thing is like, my palette become is kind of a combination of where I hold my paint and my um, paper towel. <laughs> Good thing of that word. <laughs> Uh, let's see, right now I have on the printer the wings to an iron, um, steel it's an iron dragon, it's a steel, it's a, yeah, it's iron is what it is, but yeah, it's from the Souls of Steel collection, um, or S Souls Within Steel, sorry. So I've got the body printed out and the base printed out, 
but I have to print the wings and the, let's see, the wings, the head, and some other piece of it is printing on there now. And then that's on one machine, and on the other machine is, I know this, I do. Oh, <laughs> I know why I was sitting here going, no, that's not it, that's not it. Actually, more flowers, um, that the ones like you have. I've got two of those printing, and then as well as a mind flare and a, um, um, rawr. <laughs> beholder, beholder, that's what it is. It's an iron beholder. Yes, rawr, because the, you know, the eye stocks, rawr. That's how that works. Is that how they see? Yes. You guys should scare Ty because he's being mean to me. Watch the screen. <laughs> I'm just dry brushing the orange again because I have the, the darker colors happening on the top. So I'm just kind of going back over. And that's what I really like about, about painting is layering. and Just keep layering and layering and layering. And it, I'm not completely letting things dry because I also want it to blend. And what I'll end up doing is coming around and making very specific highlights when I get to that point, when I'm doing that detail. No, so Izzy, <clears throat> not doing any more rubber duckies, guys. <laughs> I have paid the price for rubber duckies. Never rubber duckies. Never doing rubber. I called it Rubber Ducky of Doom, and for the love of it God, was. it was. It has doomed me for, it's been like a month now, and my hands still hurt. And you guys have to realize that all I do is work with my hands. I'm either sewing or painting, so <laughs> it kind of sucks. <laughs> So, no more rubber duckies. I'm done with rubber duckies. They can burn in hell. How about a neoprene ducky? Nope. No. There's a special place in hell for anything that is a made ducky. <laughs> like, I can say that you kids are really lucky that you're older now because if this had happened when you guys were young, we wouldn't even have, like, I would have gone through the house and gotten rid of any rubber ducky for the bathroom. Anything. <laughs> okay, what is happening? <laughs> no, no, no. See, they are banned from my house. <laughs> what you need is Fred. Fred is a great person to talk to. But you can't have my Fred. You have to have your own Fred. Fred is what Ty named the zombie head, by the way. Fred the head. Which looks super cute by the door. I'm looking at my details here. Hold on. <laughs> and I will run out of my house screaming and then I will burn it to the ground. <laughs> All right. I am going to add a little yellow to get some more highlights going. No, I haven't. I don't think I want to because because rubber duckies are evil. They have viciously attacked my hands and I am done. 
So I literally just put yellow straight into the orange that I have so that I can, I'm, I'm not even gonna blend it or anything. I'm just gonna pick it up onto my brush. Dawn's Christmas wish does not include anything having to do with a rubber ducky. I don't know why you guys hate me so much. <laughs> Sorry, you're having issues. We had issues when I was finishing up Cthulhu that where we just like completely crashed out. God damn it. Huh. That's really weird. Um, and you've already gotten out of the stream and come back in? Like trying to refresh the stream? I had to refresh once near the beginning, but it's been okay since. Alright. Now I'm setting him down so that I have the the right angle of the way he's sitting to get the highlights on the rest of the pumpkins. Remind everybody they need to follow for the drawing at the end of the street. Oh, yes. Um, Ty was just... Is Sir crying somewhere? I will go check. Sir hasn't gotten to say hello to everybody yet either. Um Boy. But Ty wanted to remind you guys, make sure that you follow before the end of the stream so for because the drawing will be for, um, we'll pick from the followers. And don't do what, uh, what Izumi did. Well, not that she's eligible, but she went in and clicked follow, but she had already been following. So then she unfollowed. Thank you, Samira, for a hard bit. Thank you, Sunbaran, for a hundred bits. That's very sweet. I, uh, I have no idea where he is. Ah, we're still trying to find Poopy. He's hiding and crying. Sir's so literally hiding somewhere in the house. And because he's a little tiny black dog in a darker house, it's hard to find that little sucker sometime. I hear him. So, sir. You wanna come say hello? Come on, Mr. Come say hi to everybody? I'm gonna have to be really careful because he can't lick my face like he likes to. Come here. Come here, buddy, buddy. He's freaked out about something. Come here, buddy. Do we have weather coming in again? I keep um, like not maybe. paying attention to where this is. I'm come, sorry. Come see mama. Come say hi, baby. I'm gonna get a cookie. Yep. Cookie. Oh, it's cookie time. Cora decided to go and hang out with one of her friends tonight, so she's not here to answer painting questions. What is his deal? We had the fan on today, and he hates, hates, hates the fan. The big one for the, what is it called, attic fan? He cannot stand that. But it was so nice out, but they didn't have any, had no airflow. So we had to turn the attic fan on, and he always gets grumpy. 
All right. Make this guy look a little more brown. I'm getting ready to get the eyeballs finally, and I don't know what color I want to do. I don't think I want to do a solid color. I think what I want to do is paint it white and then put the iris and everything. Hi, Bobby. Oh, I think maybe he doesn't feel good. Yeah, it might be. He wasn't Come super here, boy. Interested. Oh, there's my baby. Hi. No, like his. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, babies. Oh, the cookie, cookie. Yeah, he, he doesn't even want it. He's yeah, got a stomach ache or he's something. He's got a belly ache. Say hi, everybody's. So I'm gonna go lay down and I'm gonna go hide. You can have your cookie if you want it, buddy. No. Okay. Oh, oh poor baby. He's a spoiled puppy. Yeah, I'm gonna lay down in our bed. Yeah. Mm. I hit my damn tooth too. <laughs> so, let's see. I don't know what color to do their eyes. This thing's clogged. I hate that so much. Ugh. It's one of the things I don't like about the MS or the MS ugh, the Reaper paints is a nozzle seems to get clogged way more than any other paint. Now I am going to switch to a smaller brush because I'm going to go in and get all the eyes, eyes white so that I can, that'll just be my base layer. He may just be pissed off that Cora left. He's gotten so used to having us all here all the time. We're literally gone for conventions and that's it. kind of threw a fit the other day whenever Cora went to the store she was gone for a little while and he didn't like it of course when we're gone it just means he gets to hang out with Isabella okay I gotta stop talking for a second There we go. Eyeballs. God damn it! Sorry. I'm sorry, but he did that on purpose. I <laughs> will get you back for that one. Who did it? Who do you think? Jake? Yes, of course it was Jake. <laughs> Jack of morass. <laughs> He's just lucky that it's there. <laughs> we needed a tie a, a tie cam on that one. So I know most of you don't realize this, but basically the way we sit, Ty is actually blocked from me from, by the wall. Um, I can see the back of his chair, but I can't see him. But when you guys really scare him, he f slides back away from the computer because that's you know what's gonna keep him safe. But <laughs> he jumps back to where I can see all of him. And it's kind of freaking awesome. <laughs> So remember guys, whenever you're doing small details and your bestest friends ever jump scare the f out of you. Uh, no, whenever you're doing details, don't hold your arm up and try to get into those details because your hand will start to shake. Brace yourself to where you can hold your heart. And that's what I'm doing with my pinky is bracing my hand on my other hand. And then this arm is braced on the table and it'll keep you from, from shaking and getting, um... <laughs> uh, 
it'll keep you from shaking and losing your your details. Even bracing on the the mini itself works. What is he crying for? That goober. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Yes, red. All of the uh, mini pumpkins have eyes as well. It's basically his uh, Dragon Trapper's Lodge's uh, take on a, a pumpkin beholder is really what it is. Um, yeah, Kayla, that's something that that I used to do as well whenever I was doing details on cakes as bracing my hands. I would usually end up having this arm way up and then having this arm braced on my my hand so that I could get higher up on the top tiers. I think he's literally crying at Cora's door wanting to go in her room. Oh, he's, he's such a baby. The points do seem to, to stack up really quickly, and every now and again you get bonus, too. Like, it'll, like, f glow green and you can get extra points. But there also is the werewolf but howling one, uh, but that's for bits, I think, if I remember right. I gotta use my other brush to clean this up, because I got too many in here. think. I hope. I just want it on Cora's bed. So, I'll be crying to get down. Mm -hmm. I try to usually keep, this is one reason I don't share brushes, because I stick them in my mouth and in my hair. I try to keep a few dry brushes around so that I can easily clean up. <laughs> Thanks, Creep Show. Uh, easily clean up messes that I make. <laughs> you got him good. <laughs> you don't have to keep telling him. Well, you should use the tie cam, and I wouldn't oh, have to tell him. To okay, guys, who wants to see the tie cam? Okay, she's saying again he did, that you guys don't want to see it. <laughs> See? Ha ha ha. Everybody loves the tie cam. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> we're going to be doing a video soon and we're just gonna put it on uh, YouTube, but we're gonna be doing, me and Cora and Ty are gonna be doing a, uh, a, a video on, yeah, he's crying to get down now. <laughs> he's such a baby. Um on the differences between filament and resin printing. When I get back, I'll put the tie cam on. Because um, we've had quite a few people asking the differences and things like that, and I love answering that question, but there's quite a few differences, so I'd actually like to show some of those differences as well. So Cora is kind of the person in the house that does the filament printing. So, me and them will be on camera <laughs> talking about the, t the differences. <laughs> Sorry. That one got me good. 
Um, but, uh, so Ty will be filming it for us and then, and Cora and I will kind of show, you know, their setup for filament printing and how it prints and hopefully be having, you know, we'll have something running as well. And then the same with the film or the resin printer, we'll have it running and I'll kind of show the differences between how to set it up and, and things like that. So I think that'll be really helpful, especially for anybody looking to join the hobby. I'll check the weather. He's still, He's still acting funky. It, it's gotta be the weather. Here comes the tie cam. Yeah, it's, I love how it looks. I love the the variation in the colors. I mean, it just makes it look real. And then, like I said, this is actually gonna be sitting right outside of our front door. We have, I have one of those little flower pots that hang on a railing. And I have two really beautiful flowering plants, but they, die right in the beginning of fall and then they come back in spring so what I want to do is I'm going to put this right there between those two plants that are pretty pretty much gone at this point anyway um, and usually what I do is I put I clip them way down and then I put uh, a couple of rocks on top of them to kind of protect the top of those plants from winter and everything like that uh, I'm using the same white Actually, it's foggy gray, um, but I'm using that same color on the teeth. And with teeth, I always come up from the bottom. That way the gums kind of stay darker. Uh, but I'll bring him and set him straight right there on that plant, on that planter. So that uh, trick-or-treaters get to see him. And I'll put a little light near him, shining on him. It's the one thing I hate about my thumbs. It makes things difficult to pick up. Yeah, he is being super weird. Ugh, you gotta watch out getting white paint. That's the bad thing about having paint on your hands is you get it everywhere. Bits for Max. Thanks, Max, for the bits. I like to go from the bottom, but some of these is kind of making that impossible. Poor puppy. Just not happy. He's sitting in daddy's lap right now. Crying. You're okay, buddy. Jake knows he's a weirdo. My dog that thinks he's a cat. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with blue eyes. Bunch of bits from Max. Thanks for the bits, Max. Oh. <laughs> it's funny how like just putting the eyes white and adding the, the paint to the teeth just really kind of make it come to life. Sir is kind of being a pain in the butt, so the tie cam will be back in a few. He's panting like crazy. Did you feed him? Uh, Izzy did. Izzy did? Yeah. So he's been fedded. I wonder if he doesn't like my face paint. Oh, I bet he doesn't like that. He did not want to really have much to do with me, and he is normally like. Well, you guys have seen him in the stream. He kind of gets all lovey and tries to lick me like crazy. And he just, he wanted away. 
Rars. <laughs> I'm gonna add some more of that red in there on the tongue. All right. Let's get some green going. Well, that's not fun. I don't like having issues. Did you guys all um, reset your passwords and everything since Twitch had that issue? The bre the data breach or whatever it was? I know I set reset mine like the day I heard about it. Oh, well, that's okay, Red. I'm going to post finished, finished, <laughs> finished pictures. I'll put all the finished pictures in the Discord as well, including him sitting out in his new home too. So you'll still get to see him, even if you can't keep watching. But uh, actually, just... I'm going to go Ty, can you do the drawing real soon too? Uh, People are having issues, so just in case we drop, I want to make sure that everyone that's here can, can still participate in the drawing. Let's see if we can get the dog outside and then we're going to do the drawing. You know, it's funny, Max, there's sometimes where I'm con dang it, I'm wiping my face again. There's sometimes where I'm constantly changing brushes and other times that, yeah, I, I just kind of forget and whatever brush I have, I make it work. But we're going to try to do the drawing really soon. That way we don't have to worry, people don't have to worry about crashing and things like that since Twitch is being kind of a a non-fun thing right now. So, all right, he is back inside. So everybody, make sure you're followed. Make sure you're here. Well, I guess if you weren't here, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, this is actually, I've gone back to the original brush that I was working with in the beginning. So, so far we are at three brushes to paint and one to clean up with. And Ty is doing the drawing. Yeah, just, just give me a minute because now my bookmark is missing. Come on, Ty. Hurry up. All Go right, faster. You. All right, you. You're always telling me, okay, you're almost out of time. You're almost out of time, which I am almost out of time. You're okay, buddy. I don't know what his problem is. Buddy, just relax. I am so happy that you're feeling really good about painting. It's really, it's just not that hard. There's just not that much to it. I mean, it's like I'm literally letting a lot of these colors I let blend because I didn't wait for them to dry and it's just it's just wet blending on the on there and then dry brushing and then wet blending and then dry brushing and then just slapping some paint on it man it's fun it's easy and it just makes me happy and I want to spread the world spread it through the world paint the world man <laughs> <laughs> oh crap that scared me oh this one is oh yeah it says color pop on it it says e4 <laughs> damn it <laughs> oh are we saying leave the eyes white instead of making them colored because i actually have a glow in the dark paint that i could put Leave the eyes white and then just put the glow in the dark over it. Buddy, you're fine. He's literally barking. Can you guys hear him over there? He's going crazy. And I'll add that link um, that Sunbrand shared. I'll add it in Discord too. Just so that you can, in the painting channel. But she like literally lives down the street from me. 
So during one of the episodes, I couldn't find my dry brushes. So she ran me over new ones. Like live in the middle of the stream, just ran down the street with them. It was kind of awesome. Sir, sir, stop, baby. Yeah, he is just not happy. Okay, I have a winner. Oh, we have a winner. Are we going to do a drum roll? Yes. Go ahead, come say it. Huh? Come say it. I always you get to it. it. No, I always get to announce it. <laughs> the winner is Krauser Killer. Yay! Let's make sure you say something in chat so we see you're here. Yes, we need to know you're still here with us. And I will get our Discord. And Ty will post a Discord link so you can get on there and you can give us your address and let us know which one you want. Actually, you know what? You can pick two. They're a little bit smaller than the than the potion one, so go ahead and pick two of them and I'll ship them. So I'm just spinning them around and hitting the green. Hey, Tech Priest, I didn't know you were here. Good God, sir, what? He is absolutely flipping out over there. Yes, really, congrats. Sweetheart, what is wrong? <laughs> yes, you get to pick two. Because I decided they're too small for you to just to get one. Tutter, quit. Oh, what a whiny baby. I, I really don't understand what he's freaking out for. <laughs> he is literally, yeah, he is absolutely fli flipping out. He never does this. I mean, how many streams have we had now, guys? You've never heard him. He is just absolutely losing it. No, we're going to go back outside. So I mixed a little bit of the yellow into the green so that I can just kind of do a, a highlight. And I'm just really lightly hitting kind of just areas on the, the green where they would naturally... Like, you know how the more an area is hit by the sun, the, the more orange or the more the more orange the pumpkin would be or the more yellow that the uh the leaf would be you know what i mean so that's what i'm just kind of focusing on oh let's see i just saw it the ghost and the zombie nice choice make sure you get in uh touch with us so that we can get your address and I will, since they're printed out and ready to go, I will literally be shipping them tomorrow for you. Because I have to ship out the other one that was one last week. And don't forget, next week is going to be those witches. And somebody will get to pick which one of those. And then the week after that, I have something very, very awesome. But I'm not going to tell you yet. No, don't do it. Nope, I'm not going to tell you yet. Because that one, it will not be pick one. I'll say that much. That one will be the collection that we will show. No! Ooh! Yeah, if you're having that many issues, that's why I wanted to hurry up and go ahead and get the drawing done so that you could you could be here for it. Um, but I am super, super glad you were able to stop in and watch some. And I am really, really happy that you are really looking forward to painting. I can't wait to see it. And don't forget, we have the channel on Discord. Feel free to post any work in progress. This is, if you have any questions, we have a million people on here who on there that paint already. So even if it's not me that jumps in and answers a question, um, there's a bunch of people that can absolutely help and, and help take care of, of whatever questions you might have. 
Um, would love to see work in progress if you don't get it done. Would love to see finished pictures if you do. But either way, I am so happy and have fun painting on Saturday. I think it's Saturday. It will be. Trust me, it will be. Wait, who's a witch? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Red. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> okay. Oh, they dressed me this way. Turn me into a newt. Okay, did we decide the eyes are staying white? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I don't think it, we need to worry about it. Well then, how about I put some of this Craft Smart um, glow in the dark paint on it, just across that. Ow. All right, so we're gonna leave them white, but we're gonna add a little bit of this. And I don't know, honestly, if it's gonna work or not, but I am. it's perfectly fine for me to, where is my brush? go for a couple extra minutes. Spend a couple extra minutes to put the glow in the dark on there. Other than that, I'm kind of just liking the way he's looking, and I might actually call him done. Is that crazy or what? Hi, Michael. I was just talking about you not too long ago. I was telling everybody how you were, uh, told me about the makeup brushes for dry brushing. And it has made my life so much better. But look, I match my pumpkin. <laughs> and I have made an absolute mess of my face and of my pumpkin and of my hands. And I have had an absolute blast today. Thanks for the bit, Sunburian. I am just going around and putting a little bit of glow in the dark. I was telling everybody earlier too quack, how quack. I get. Do oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Um, I was telling everybody how I get to join you and uh, Claire for D and D next month. Is that not? Yeah, it's next month. Which I'm very much looking forward to. No! Oh God! God! <laughs> no, no, God, please, please, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do a life cleric, life domain, or grave domain. And it's funny how I'm stuck between those two. It's like one or the other. I have to go super scary or super nice. There's no in between. And I'm just kind of playing around with details at the moment because I think I'm pretty happy with where everything is. And I don't want to spend too, too much time 
thanks for the bits, Max, on the vines themselves, because it's sitting outside in the in the rocks, so the vines are going to be kind of buried. There we go. A little bit. We've got this jungle green, or jungle mist. Jungle mist, that's what it's called. A few little more touches on the leaves. Just on the roundy bits. Uh, that would be Tyler's, all of Tyler's doing. Um, he has been working tirelessly. Tyler, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Tirelessly. That's Tyler. Help me. What's that? Tirelessly. Tirelessly. Ty has not been working at all. There, I'm done. <laughs> uh, no, Ty actually takes care of all of the production stuff. So I basically sit down over here, and uh, he even does my little videos for me. Um, I literally just sit over here and paint, and paint my face, and that's it. That's that's my job. Although that's about to change because Ty's getting ready to start his stream up, which means I have to do the production stuff on that side for him. And I'm a little bit scared. No, you're gonna do well. Um, no, I'm a little bit scared. I, I really am. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I am going to try. I really, really am. But, do you already know what uh, Crosser Killer is getting Yes, uh, we're doing the zombie cat and the ghost cat. Painted or unpainted? Oh, painted or unpainted. That was the other question I had to ask. Because if you want them unpainted, they can ship tomorrow. Otherwise, they have to. you have to wait a little bit while I paint them. Putting a little green on the teeth, too. It's, a really, it's that really, really light green. It's that jungle mist as well. I think that just kind of adds a little bit. And I think I'm going to take the same thing. And he's got a couple little dots on his tongue. I think I'm going to put those little dots, make them jungle green as well. Turn them up a little bit so you guys can see in there. No whistling when I'm doing details. No, it's cool. This is like the second time I think we've had somebody win who's like, I never win anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Worry about Sir, he's just walking around. <laughs> oh, crap. Nice one, Max. <laughs> Oof. We need the tie cam back. Loves it. Painted. Any particular uh, thanks for the bit, Sun Baran? You did that last one. I did, yeah. That's why I said I needed the tie cam back. <laughs> All right. Get this one mixed up. I got my lightest brown now. That one still has a whole bunch of color in it. And I just want to get it's still too wet. I get you. <laughs> you did, yes. There's the tie cam. <laughs> Jackass. Now you need to stay there. Okay, guys, Ty's there. You got to get him.
We gotta get him talking. <laughs> Ty, you should talk about your stream that's coming up while I am doing final details here. Uh -huh. I want a little break. No! Oh, God! No! No! God! Please, please, no! 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 Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay like this? Thanks for the bits, Max. Thank you, Max. There we go. I will, uh... yes. yes. Okay, so... Uh... <clears throat> Coming up within the next couple of weeks, maybe as early as next Monday, depending on whether or not we get everything, both research and our stream itself in place, uh, Jake, or uh, you'll see him as Damaged Microbe in the chat right now, he and I are uh, starting a stream called Gamers in the Unknown, and it is about um, paranormal. It's about the paranormal. Like, like our first stream, we're, we're going to talk about Bigfoot, right? But after we kind of talk about it in the general sense, then we're also going to give you some ideas about how you can use it in your tabletop session. Uh, sometimes that might mean uh, this is how we would build this monster. And sometimes it might be, you know, if we're talking about ghosts, there's no reason for us to talk about how to build a ghost. Dungeons and Dragons already has a ghost. But then we'll talk about how we might run a, a setting or something like that with a ghost. So we'll, we'll still... Uh, We'll go through the things that we've researched and try and implement those things into your tabletop setting. And it should be fun. We won't always agree on whether things are probable or possible, but we'll still have a good time talking to you guys about it. So, yeah, uh, if you go follow... How did I get myself? That's so fucking stupid. If you go follow Gamers in the Unknown, then uh, you'll know when we start streaming. So we hope we see you guys there too. Uh, I got myself trying to get him. How stupid is that? You did that? I did that. <laughs> and I literally startled myself. I am such a dork. It's karma. I've scared the kids too much. Is he still outside? He is. I'm going to go check on him. Yeah. So scared. <laughs> I, I don't even understand how that happened. I'll be back. Yeah. He's got to go grab Sir because he's out there barking now. My poor little man. He is just losing his little doggy mind, let me tell you. Guys, I'm pretty happy with where this guy is. I might actually... Oh, what time is it? Yeah, it's actually... And the other thing is I get to paint minis for their, for them uh, so that they have something to show while they're talking. Yeah, it definitely fits him perfectly. Let's see. I am 14 minutes over. You guys never <laughs> yell at me for going home. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my fingers are both like completely black <laughs> from touching my nose. Oh. Now I want to come in. Okay. Well, I just was going to say, I think I'm done. Oh, too bad. I'm out. <laughs> he just ran away. That is so him. Let's see. I kind of ran out of my green. And of course, that green is not going to open. But we'll just go really, really. <laughs> we'll go super neon bright green. That's really what I want to do anyway. I'm literally killing time now. I finished on, well, I didn't finish on time, but you know what I mean. I'm finished, but Ty won't, <laughs> so I'm not. <laughs> My breath 
just caught. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I don't know why the damn duck gets me. Well, I guess I do. I, I have horrible memories of the duck. I think he went to try to make the bed for Sir so he'd be comfy. Okay, I'm sorry. What's that? I am just fiddling at this point, kind of doing a couple more little really bright highlights on the leaves. But other than that, I think I'm done. I'm pretty happy with where he's at. I do need to coat him really, really well with um, a clear coat because he is going to be outside in the elements and I don't want him to to lose his paint. Um, so I'll probably end up doing a couple of coats, but I have a spray matte and a spray gloss. So, or, but for this guy, what I'm gonna do is definitely the matte. And then what I'll do is take my little gloss varnish and I'll go over the eyes so that, and the teeth and the mouth. So they'll all stay shiny, but the rest of him will, will go to um, a matte finish. So that'll even kind of bring to life more of that pumpkin feel in the first place. I just realized I have put some white on his side from my hand. So I'm going to hit a little spot with that orange that I got left. But that... Oh, I wish the tie cam had been going for that one. That was a good one. That was one of those ones that he rolled backwards, like his whole chair shifted back. Okay, so once again, this is a model from Dragon Trapper's Lodge and they have a Discord they have a Patreon, they have, you can find them on my mini factory. We are a merchant uh, licensed with them so that we can sell their prints. Uh, you know, you can go to our Etsy, you can go to our Shopify and you can find a lot of our models. And we are going to be next weekend, is it Ty? Not this weekend, but next weekend is Meeplefawn in yes, Kansas City, I think. Uh, we will make sure to post proper links in our Discord for Meeplefawn because it is going to be a blast. It is, like, I forget how long it is, but it's it's two days, and it's 24-7 gaming. Are you on your intro camera? Yes. They do not close down at all. They literally go all the way through, um, you know, just like a thon, anything would be. And all of their pro, <laughs> yes, Kansas City, they, all their proceeds go to help um, homeless, I believe. I have to look at that again, but it is awesome. Yeah, that would actually be like crazy awesome, Michael, if you could be there. But it's a little bit along of a drive for you. So. Bye. You gotta start off with a swim. <laughs> you can handle the swim. It's the drive afterward that you can't. You know, it's gonna be the pain. So here's my pretty little pumpkin, and I will. I probably wait till tomorrow because right now you wouldn't be able to see it in the first place. But I will put him in his little spot and get a nice pretty picture for him, and then you will be able to see him in his nice little home. And the nice trick or treaters that come to see him will get scared. <laughs> And I actually am going to be printing some other uh, pumpkins that basically have the same sort of scary face as him, but they are smaller, like like his little extra heads. So I'll be printing more of this size, and they will be going. Or I'll paint those as well, and they'll be going all around. More more face paint on my hands. <laughs> they'll be going all in, the, in that little basket, basically. It's a flower basket. Is really what it is. Thank you. I appreciate it, Michael. And I am very much looking forward to starting D&D. &D. It's going to be so much fun. Also, because you go follow Michael. Yes, everybody needs to be going to follow Michael. If you go down on our page, 
there's a little thing where you can find Michael. Basically, everything I know is thanks to Michael. He is my mentor. So he is awesome. I love him. And I've been following his work for, I don't even know how long now. Two years. Like six years, something like that. Um, And he is super, super helpful with everything and anything coming from painting. And I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am if it hadn't been for him. But (laughs) you're welcome, Michael. You absolutely, absolutely deserve it. And he has an awesome wife, too. And he was a very, very smart man by marrying a DM. It has made his life much, much better. Just like mine. (laughs) It's a good thing to do, marry a DM. (laughs) So I am going to go wash my face and see if that will make my puppy maybe not be so scared. Because right now I really don't know what what else else it could possibly be. The weather's fine. (laughs) So, guys, check out Michael. Check out Gamers in the Unknown. And we will be back next Tuesday. Make sure that you guys um, are here so that you can pick a witch. Also, possibly Sunday if you figure out your big project. Oh, possibly I will be on Sunday if I can figure out what my next new pro- my next big project is. I think I know what I want to do, but I don't know yet. I kind of want to paint Godzilla. Oh, that would be good. Kind of really want to.